In this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys a coin method that's going to make you rich in Madden 22. So the method we're going to be using today is under sets, under team affinity, under team builders, and in the team builders one section. This set is going to be very profitable because everybody kind of forgot about team builders one and they've kind of risen in price since not many people are doing the set anymore since team builders two already came out. So for this set, it doesn't really matter what set we go under because they're all the same. We need 380 to 82 overall players, and we also need 375 to 79 players. I'm going to show you guys how to get these for cheap, as well as how to pick out the best 84 so it sells for the maximum profit. All right, so the first step here is getting the 75 to 79. So you're going to obviously want to set to 75, 79 quality, as well as you're going to want to set the program to core gold. That's because power-ups, those purple cards, are flooding the filters, but you're actually not able to put those into sets. Now the next thing you want to do is just filter down by position because how the Madden Auction House works is these will show you cheaper cards because it just does. So you just want to filter by position, filter by team. I, I really like doing position, but you guys can do whatever you really want here. I would recommend trying to buy these for a thousand coins and under, uh, but for the sake of this video, I'll probably try to buy them a little more expensive. But this isn't as important as the next step, which I'm going to get into really soon. So as I go into my bids here, you guys can see that the last three cards I bought equal out to 3,000 coins. So technically 1,000 each, but this 850 snipe really helped me um, be able to get that really quickly. So the next thing you guys want to do here is obviously get 80 to 82s. Obviously 82s are just going to be a little more expensive than 80 to 81. So you're just going to want to use this 81 filter here. Now... The cheapest cards right now are the Harvest cards. Now, these this could rise up in price uh, very soon, so I'd recommend getting on this as quick as possible. But even bringing this down to Harvest, as you guys can see, we're only seeing these at the 40-minute mark, 39-minute mark, and we need to be seeing these at the 59-minute mark. Even if we s switch our filter to newest, we're still going to be seeing these at the 40-minute mark. So what we're going to need to do is obviously filter down. There are four positions on this filter, right tackle, D tackle, fullback, and left tackle. Those four guys right there are the only cards on this filter. So we're basically just going to be filtering through those positions to see how uh, cheap they are. Left tackle's pretty cheap. You can probably get a couple snipes on there. Um, fullback is pretty dang cheap, 2,200. I'm actually going to go ahead and scoop this up. I really look for them around 2,200 and under, 2,300 and other, under. It really doesn't matter too much. But this is where the big profit is because you could probably spend an extra 500 coins on the gold filter as long as you guys are getting these for pretty cheap. All right, so as you guys can see here, I just bought these for a little more expensive than I usually do just so I can keep going on with this video. And it also shows you guys that you don't really need to be getting these uh, snipes to even make profit off of this. But 2,600, 2,600, 2,200, 1,100, 1,050, and 850, all six of those cards add up to 10,400 coins. Now, I'm going to go and show you guys how to find the most expensive 84 player that you can exchange for and make easy profit. All right, so obviously to find the most expensive player, you're going to want to go 84, and then you want to go under program to team builders. Now, as you guys can see, a lot of these guys are really only going for around the 10K, 12K price range, but all we really have to do is find one that is a little bit more rare and that will sell for a little bit more coins. So I'm going to go through here and just go through a couple positions until I find a guy that's really expensive. And then I'll, right here, all these wide receivers are literally 17,000 coins. Um... The most expensive one kind of looks like Deshaun Jackson, but he does have one card that's been up for 30 minutes already. It really doesn't matter who we pick here. Um, I think I'm going to go with Deshaun Jackson, and yeah, we're going to sell him. Uh, this is the guy I've been using before this, uh, before this video, so I'm going to go exchange for Deshaun Jackson real quick. I'll be right back. All right, so if we go to the Rams set here. This is the Deshaun Jackson set, since he is on the Rams, of course. Uh, we're going to exchange these 80s. We're also going to exchange the gold cards. I think I have a couple extra gold cards, but it doesn't really matter because I spent the coins anyways, and all the gold cards kind of have around the same value. I think I got this dude. I'm pretty sure I got these three. Maybe I got the Sterling, but it really doesn't matter too much. Um, and then I'm going to go sell this Deshaun Jackson to prove that's going to sell. I'm going to tell you guys how much profit I made. So as you guys can see here, our Deshaun Jackson did just sell for 14940 after EA's greedy 10% tax. So that means we're going to profit about 4,500 coins after, of course, the expense of buying the cards for the set. That's without sniping the cards, looking for even the best 84. And yeah, overall, you could probably do this for even more coins. So yeah, use this method. See y'all later. Peace out.